watch. We also now know more about the third officer who made that scene uh, who, and took down the alleged gunman. 27-year-old rookie officer Sumet Sulan shot LaShawn McNeil after police say McNeil opened fire on the other two officers. Sulan has been on the force for eight months. Just three weeks ago, he was commended for confiscating an illegal gun. The mayor's new action comes after the murder of 22-year-old NYPD officer Jason Rivera. He was killed while responding to a domestic violence call in Harlem Friday night. His partner, Wilbert Mora, was also shot in the head and is now fighting for his life. This here's another live look at the memorial set up at the 32nd Precinct House near the scene of the shooting. Eyewitness News reporter Lauren Glassberg is in Kipps Bay with the latest on Officer Mora's condition. Lauren. Well, Joe, Wilbert Mora is just 27 years old, four years on the force, and now he is here at NYU Langone fighting for his life, as you say. He was transferred here from Harlem Hospital yesterday evening. He remains in critical condition after being shot in his head. Everybody's here? His brothers and sisters in blue lighting candles today outside the Mora family home in East Harlem, flickering flames and heartfelt prayers. A vigil for Wilbert Mora, who remains at NYU Langone Hospital. Mora was one of two officers from the 32nd Precinct who were shot in the head on Friday night while responding to a domestic violence call in Harlem. Damien Castro lives in Mora's building. It's a shame. Nobody tried to worry going to work that they're not going to be able to come home. Um, I just might, I, I pray for them. And I hope um, everything comes back home safe. Meanwhile, in Inwood, these candles are in memory of Jason Rivera. The 22-year-old officer died Friday night from his gunshot wound. He was a nice guy, he was a sweetheart. Yeah, I really miss him a lot. Today, Jose Torres remembered Rivera from the years they worked together at the local pharmacy. Rivera biding his time there before joining the force. He used to work with me in the pharmacy. We used to do deliveries. He used to work inside, help the customers. He wanted to be a cop. He didn't want to work in the pharmacy. He wanted to work there because, you know, this is only part time. That's it. From there, he wanted his dream to be a cop. A dream that ended just as it was beginning. Rivera was a rookie and a newlywed married this past October. Now plans are being made for his wake. That will happen on Thursday and his funeral on Friday, both at St. Patrick's Cathedral. Live in Kipps Bay tonight, Lauren Glassberg, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Lauren, thank you. Stay with.